Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and this math treat is Fill the Square. This is inspired by a number file video that I just saw this week, and it's related to another problem that I'm aware of that I think is really cool, so it just kind of made me want to give you this as the math treat. And the way it works is we take any size square, any size you want, and we're gonna try and fill it with rectangles. And the one constraint is that our rectangles, we're gonna make them twice as wide as they are tall. So they're gonna be in the ratio two to one. Okay, they can be any size. We can scale this up or down or whatever it is. And then we wanna take as many of these in as many sizes as we choose, as long as one of the sides is half as big as the other or one of the sides is twice as big as the other. As long as that's the case for our rectangles, we can fill up this square. And we wanna fill it completely. No empty spaces, no little holes, like fully cover the square. And then a question that arises is, can you do it with two of these rectangles or three of these rectangles or four or five or six or seven and so on? What numbers are possible and what numbers are not? So let's try this. And I wanna note one thing. You might kind of see it in this rectangle. If we split that rectangle right down the middle, it's kind of like two perfect squares put together. So this piece is kind of like two squares put together and this is obviously one square. And remember, we can scale this any way we like. So let me get rid of that. And right off the bat, I can kind of see something you might be noticing at it as well, that if we draw a line straight across, straight across the middle of our square, and let's just say the squares have sides four, okay? So we'll make this four and we'll make this four. Again, the size of our original square doesn't matter. I'm using four because it's gonna be easy to think about. Then, of course, this became two and this became two because I divided it in half. And so this rectangle right here is two by four and that has that ratio of two to one. This is twice as big as that. Uh, if it helps, you can imagine dividing this into two exact two by two squares. So that's one rectangle. Of course, this rectangle is exactly the same. So I can actually cover this square with two of these two to one. We solved this for two rectangles. I think you can convince yourself that there's no way to put one rectangle, fill this with one rectangle. It's a square and our two by one rectangle, one of them will not cover this whole thing. So that's out. You can't do it with one, but you can do it with two. Could you use three of these sorts of rectangles? Maybe you put one, I don't even know. Maybe you put one here and another one there where this is like half the rectangle this way and this is like this. And if I'm using four, this would be two and four. So I know that's two to one and this would be two. And so this would be one. So that's also two to one. Like maybe I start filling it up that way and then try to fill this with some more rectangles. So that is the math treat for this week. You can scale up and down your rectangles any way you like, as long as one side is half of the other side or one side is double the other side. That's two to one ratio. You can use any number of them. You can use multiples of each kind if you want. It's all fine as long as all your rectangles have this shape and they have to fill up the square without leaving any extra space. Can you do it with two? Yes, you can. Can you do it with three, four, five, six, or seven? That's the math treat. If you solve this and you're looking for another challenge, maybe change the ratio. What about rectangles that are three to one? Can you fill this with three to one rectangles? Is it possible? If so, how many do you need? What about four to one? There are all kinds of things you could try here to extend off of this. And if you wanna get super creative, Maybe even think about extending this to other shapes like triangles or something. I don't know. Definitely something you can play with. As always, just get yourself a piece of paper, start drawing. You can cut these things out if you want. Play around with it. And again, just have fun playing with the math.